Jam World 876, yep, good to go. Yeah, it was crazy, it was good, you know. The show was very, very good, you know. People have enjoyed themselves and, you know, just give the people them their money's worth, you know. The last time in Paris was like two years ago because of the corona. So we performed like, yeah, we'd call it like a year and uh, two years now because the last time when we were on tour, we did Paris. But since the corona hit, you know, that's like two years now. So, you know, let's call it for like two years now. We haven't performed here, but you know, Paris, when it comes to energy, got the people, them love elephant, man, you know, crazy. I got my fans here, right here. Yeah, well, I went to court for like two years. We, we have been to the court, back and forth, back and forth. The judge and everybody came to an agreement and, you know, everybody, the, the judge and the jury and the both side, the lawyers and everybody, and the judge said not guilty. And, you know, I give thanks for that because I didn't want no problem. And I'm glad that was over because we have to be going to court every day, like every month. So we've been there for two years and that's that and that's over now and we're back in Europe again. Yeah, um, yo, I was shocked and, you know, when it happened, Merciless is one of my favorite DJs and I didn't even remember to even talk about it since night, but, you know, condolence to Merciless family. I know he's in a good place, but we all miss him and I'm very shocked. You know, salute Merciless. Yeah, 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 we start very young. When I was in Seaview Gardens, them time, I was young, I was about... 13, you know, 11, 12, 13, you see, that, that, that young, you know? We in the rubbish sheep and we beating, you know, the garbage and we, we, we just pretending that we are artists. And one of my friends, a guy, his name is Cracks Call, he saw us and he said, yo, I got a, you know, I have a tape. He got a tape and he plugged the mic in it and he got, he got the, the, the cassette with some rhythm tracks and he put it in and he pressed play and, we plug in the mic and we start to DJ and the, the, the speakers on the tape lighting up and, you know, we like, okay. And then he get a record changer and he put it on and we just start to, so we training ourselves from there and, you know, we used to pretend like, yo, we come the part two style, yo, whatever, 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 and Elephant Man, and, you know, like, we just pretend like we are in a dance hall and Ninja Man is there, Shabarang is there, so. We're doing that from a kid, so we kind of have an idea about the music. You ask us about Ninja Man, Shabba, Courtney Melody, all of them, Tupacat, everybody, we can tell you because I live right here, Shabba Ranks live right here, so they all come to see you. And then Wayne Smith, the one, the one who sing, under my slim thing, me, under my slim thing, he live right up the road, like five minutes from me. So we have the music you know, the, 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 the music genre and the breeze and everything that's happening in music right around us, right there. A real show. Um, yeah, when the first time I went on a plane, when I was a kid, I went to Bermuda. Um, Magic from Soldier One, he sent for us. Uh, we performed at a place called Clay House. So I would more say that, was a, that would be a stage and the first time called. We perform in Jamaica. But I'm talking like, this ain't no joke now because this is overseas where people don't, they know us, but I have it that they don't know us, but that's why they send for us because they know us. But I'm like, you know what? What's going to happen? I've never do nothing like this. You know, somebody take you out of Jamaica, paying you to DJ now. And when we went into the clay house and when we run on on the stage, it was mad. And we have our own... It wasn't hotel, it was an Airbnb. We got a lot of rooms and we have pool and you know, so it was crazy. So when that happened, I was like, yeah, this is my first show. And we did a lot of duck play. Then we buy rings and chain and cologne and clothes and shoes. So I'm like, what? You know, <laughs> it felt good. So I would say that would be the first time. And that's the first time I've ever been on a plane. And the first place I've ever been to that was Bermuda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first time I was in, I was in Seaview, my same friend who saw we DJing in the rubbish heap, we were at it, it's like a student now because 
But now we build up a studio and we there and we doing our thing and the producer named Shalom label, he the one who produced the bun for bun from Managi bun, Managi bun, I don't know nothing that call it bun for bun. So he that producer thought he said he wanted an artist to do a dancing song on, on the rhythm, on a rhythm that he got. So the first song I've ever do, it was a dancing song. I'm like, damn. It was a dancing, I did a dancing song, the first song I've recorded, I, it was like, excitement and I'm so seeing the dance, girls that jump from the coat, I do the butterfly dance, matey can do it, matey belly hungry, be a bag juice in a matey belly, matey can do it, matey belly hungry, matey belly flop and marky marky me see, matey I do it, but I know she not try that a rap, but I know so you do the butterfly, you know, and that was my first and I was living in Seaview Gardens and it was playing on the radio every day. And I'm like, yo, my friends like, yo, Ellie, you know, yeah. Them time they were pushing um 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 black hawk sound boxes cause we love to we love when the sound set up on the corner, my corner Vietnam and play and so we used to help them with the box and you know, music party and we dance and all these things. So yeah. My grandma was like my father and mother and everything in one, you know. Yeah, my mother was there in about like, she should know my granny there, she just leave up everything to her and, you know, like my granny, she the boss, she like the father, you know, she, she just always look out, make sure, you know, her grandkids are okay, find food. When I, when I don't got no lunch money and, you know, I go to school, my mom said, go over here granny and go get lunch and we, we left the school and go over there and get lunch and, you know. Even one time, I'm like, yo, my khaki, I want, I want a Charlie Chaplin. I want a khaki with a Chaplin. I'm going to go get it for me and thing, you know? Because I'll be a straight pants man, mother make them wear some big ugly straight pants. Some big foot <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get the Chaplin for me, so, you know? Big up my granny, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't do nothing else. It was music all the way. Like, I didn't choose it. Like, it was just a God gift talent, you know, like, like, you know, like you're saying, you know what, look like Elephant Man was chosen for this, like you can see certain people who was chose to do certain things, like in acting, like, I am watching The Rock, and sometimes I say to myself, yo, you know, so The Rock coming like him, true, like he loved what, he, he was a wrestler, you got a lot of wrestler, but to, oh, he take it on a level, like, and sometimes when you look in his face, when him acting, he make it seem so real, like, yo, bro, when I go in, character ain't coming out. And even in Fast and Furious, when he came in that, when he came in that sequel, and he, he take it to another level, I'm like, this big giant man, and he make it look so, he, he made us believe. So my stuff is, I made people believe. They the one named the energy god. I never yet said, hey, you know what, I think I can DJ. I just get up as a kid and say, yo, I'm an artist, I'm a DJ, because I think it was a God-given talent, you know, touch from birth, you know. And it, it's not like I'm doing it when I was even a grown person. I'm doing it from I was small until now. Mm -hmm. When you set a standard and you, 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 you set the thing, I'll... It, it no matter, until you are on jet, you still a jump and climb and doing crazy stuff. Because sometimes you do it so much, you get addicted to it like you just can't find yourself not doing it. You notice, even the DJ boot I was climbing on, yeah, because it's just the vibe and the energy that you give the crowd and the crowd give you back. Because you are feeding off the crowd energy and the crowd feeding off of your energy. So it's like we both rubbing each other's energy. They are watching my body language and watching me and I'm watching them. So we keep the connection and that's why the thing between an artist and, and the fans is so important. When a fan loves an artist, he can wreck that house until in the morning or you say when. Yeah, you know, Shabarang's Ninja Man. You know, yeah, Shabarang Ninja Man, as a kid, I look up to Shabarang, you know, with him performing Ninja Man, with him stage presence and his performance. Like, 
they are not wild like me. And, you know, but Shabaranks is wild when he was, you know, Shabaranks is crazy. But, like, I tried to put my little thing to it. I'm working like the energy they have. I'm, I'm, it's the same energy, but I put my, my touch to it. So when you see it, you're going to be like, okay, that's elephant. And then the people say, you know what? That's the energy God. They named me. I don't even know when the name comes. The fans just say, you know what? This is energy God because you got a show in Jamaica called Sting. It keep every year. So the people in Jamaica, they say bounty killer, the poor people governor, beanie man, the doctor, Shabaranks, the girl, them, whatever. Um, um, yeah, like Shabaranks, the girls, them, because Shabaranks respond to all the girls. The Shabaranks, the girls, them, pet. You see me? Capleton, King Shango, our Manaki, you know, Sizzler Kolonji, you know, everybody, have, we, have, we have a next name, the fans name us so, and it's because of how they see us and the energy we bring or how we, you know, come across to them in the music. Mm -hmm. No, well, you know, Maria Carey, she was one of my favorite until I heard them say, yo, Maria Carey, want to do a song with you and... Then I, you know, I was on, I was, I was on MTV and I saw Maria Carey and she doing her countdown and she said, Elephant Man's song is her number, is her second, is, is, is her second song on her countdown because Elephant Man is her favorite artist, you know? So Maria Carey, that's, that's my friend. I love Maria and Chris Brown, that's my G, you know, Rihanna. Riri, the first song Riri do she send for Elephant Man, you know? Come Mr. DJ, come from the replay. You see me? Hey, the club is getting warmer. This is Elephant Man and Rihanna. Look, this is the girl, let me not. Lucy and them go banner. This is Elephant Man and Rihanna. Can I hear you say, turn it up? Mr. DJ, you understand? Can I hear everybody say, you know, Buster Rhyme, all of them, R. Kelly, you know, Will Smith. Daddy Yankee, Little John, the East Side, but yo, look, I do collab still. Um, um, Janet Jackson, everybody, they, they see the energy God and they see the energy that I bring because at the time, Elephant Man doing something what nobody doing, like I'm doing Signal the Plane, we're doing Pandy River, I'm doing all different type of music, Juke Gyal, I'm doing me and little John, them, this is if you do then, me and Osha, big girls, if you want to get it, I'm all over the place. Because, you know, I like to try different type of music. I like to, I like to challenge my talent. You know, I'm like, you know what? I hear R. Kelly sing a song. I like the melody, but if R. Kelly did, you know, go back in the song, if I was supposed to use the melody, I would say something like, bad man, a bad man. I win a rat man, no, bad man, a free man. I am a mountain, you know, and I'm like, yo, I'm going to go, you know, and I use it, and R. Kelly was so amazed. He loved it. He talked about it straight. Yo, elephant going my melody. And so I was just doing all different type of music, and I was all over the place. So I get to meet a lot of people, and as I said, it's a God-given talent. So I always give God thanks, you know, letting me break down barriers, puff daddy, all of them. You know, and just, you know, do greatness, you know, and leave my mark in, in the music. Yeah, Michael Jackson, he called me and he said, you know, Helly, thank you for, you know, doing the show, BT Awards with my sister Janet. And I'm like, what? The king? You know, my, my, my artist? And I felt really proud for that. And that's why I always try to keep my head up and... You just got to know what you worth and you know the greatness that you do and you know what you're capable of. So you just got to just, you know, love the music and, you know, do it with the passion. I don't do it for the money. I do it because it's a God-given talent that I get and I was one of the chosen ones. And when you see people love you and have all that love for you, you can't abuse it, you know? When I say can't abuse it, you can't be walking around like a crackhead. You can't be looking like a crackhead. You got to look like a star. You got to look, yes, you understand, you got to make people see and say, oh, that is energy, that, that elephant, man, because you look it, because people looking at you, I'm going to interview Ellie, oh, Ellie smells so nice, oh, Ellie look like, that's what it's supposed to be, man. You must not go home and say, man, elephant look like a crackhead, bro. You know, so 
I always just love what I do. I do it with a passion because it's a God, God gifting thing. It's like a pastor. I touch you to do good and lead the people in a positive way. Do it, bro. Don't don't come off the train. So that is how I look at my talent. I feel like the Almighty touched me because it's not everybody get that love from people. When you get that love from people, it's special, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, the it producer. wasn't a special melody in the chorus, you know. I was the one who let them play it because I was hooked on melody. I just love melodies. Like I can't be do it. Like for instance, you hear Willie Gum, and I'm like. So I never say that's we say we die. Oh, them bad, so badly bad, it's a getting them. You know, it's just so singing, touching the melody. Do the bones, will the bones, you know, and it, it, it. Because the melody, the note, and it's musical. We are born bad, my John, we, you know. The melody, kiss the cross and touch. I feel not that before, but I've never seen it. Like, you know, people hear that and they're like, yo, this is different. Because the melody, what I'm saying, you know, you know, the topic I'm singing about. So you're like, oh, real bad man, now you're beat. And the beat is crazy. Pan the river, down the flank, it's different. So you're like, you know what? Oh, I can work with this. I, 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 I think this sounds different from that. And that's the thing with my stuff. I love to do melodies. Even a baby can sing it, you know? Dance all night again. Do what you feel like, but now. Dance in a Jamaica, me, you know? So, it's just the melodies and the fans. Love it. Shake that booty. Turn it around. You open up the club and the music. Sweet, if you juke, girl, juke, girl. Girl, if your man now no use, come, you know? Me and Cap the Luna, wind up, wind up. It's crazy. So, you know, like, for me, the melodies are important. Because melody let people can sing the song, it's catchy. And you dominate billboards and your song go because people can sing it. Like, I'm going to tell you something. Any day I go to um, Israel, it's going uh, to be something else. Every day I get called for Israel because dancing is the number one thing in Israel. And Elephant Man songs run Israel. I'm telling you, they're in my DM every day. So, you know, and I think the melody's got a lot to do with it. Because now they water down the dance hall and they try to make it. It's like most of the stuff is like R and B or it's just it's just like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't sound it doesn't sound that way, you know? It doesn't sound that way. It 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 it, it, it. You know, it sounds like R and B or something else, you know? It's not it's not it's not dance song. You don't hear the drum, the bass. You don't hear the 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 the, 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 ayat, the kick, none of that. So, you know, big up to the producers who still keeping it real and doing the, the right thing and building dance or rhythm for the fans because the fans know it. Like you hear that beat playing, that's dance song. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so that's that's all, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think everything have everything have its own fan base. So you got people crave for that and you got, you know, people love because you got people love it too, so it's working and dance all is there and working. So, you know, whatever the people want, it's the people, you know. It's the people. So if they like that, they're going to work with it. So fine, of course. I don't got a problem with it. If trap dance all or dance all, I don't. I'm, I do anything and I do everything. I'm just pleasing the people and make sure that the people. But I think dance all on an old dance all rhythm is more hardcore and effective. And it knock you with a different energy and vibe because the, 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 the trap dance all, the beats are kind of lighter. It's like... You know, a kind of R and B dance all you get the kick and the drive and you know all of that. So mm hmm Well, yeah, yo, you got a lot. You got a lot. If I told you that guy and that guy, I'm wicked. So I'm not going to even call one of them names because if I call one name, the other one's gonna feel offended. Mm. So all of them is my friend. It like in producing, 
it, in producing, I wouldn't even say who is my favorite producer because Jamaica got so much talent with some crazy producers. So, you know, they all have talent and I love all of them, you know. They come with a beat and they say, yo, elephant. Like, for instance, Lenky. Lenky gonna check me and said, yo, Ellie, I got the rhythm, man. You know, I got a rhythm named Duwalian. You know, I went on it. Me and my crew got the whole city lock. And then you got Dilana from Renaissance. He came and he's like, you know, you this bad man and them shoot you with them girls. You know, so you got all different type of producers, some crazy producers, Ketaborel with the over the wall, you know, and fire links. So, I love, you know, it's just the love of the music and everybody come with a different sound and a different style. And you as an artist, you're going to be you're gonna be loving all the new, the new sounds and all the new because, for instance, if we are here and you show me that eyeglass or you show me this phone and we see the new model to those, and your friend come and have something, you know, the new model to those, we are gonna be like, yo, where you get those, yo? Let me try that. So it's the same thing with the producers, Steely and Cleavy, they're gonna come and they're gonna give you. What? You know, wind your waist and roll, and then you're gonna have Steve McGregor gonna come now, and Steve McGregor music is the appropriate something. Steve will beat them, got everybody jumping now, everybody dance and sweep them way. So I was like, yo, Steve, if you get that, where do you find that? And then when you leave Steve McGregor now, you know you're gonna have like, you're gonna have, you're gonna have when him are calling you, and I say, yo, you know what? I have another really man. This is Birch Hill Records now and Bobby Condas and you know everybody have their sound and me as an artist, I like everything. And because they have their sound and it's them, they have their name too. So I think it's good for artists. Just go on everything, bro. Go on everything. Trap dance hall, original dance hall, reggae roots, go on everything, man. Yeah. So you win every crowd. He moved from Jamaica to America. So he's not living in Jamaica no more. So picture you, picture you playing, playing, picture you Messi playing for Real Madrid. And you left there, you're going to play for Jamaica. It's going to be different climate because the sun is going to be well hot, right? You, it's not like you're going to have no winter or summer when you're up here. You got winter, summer, Jamaica is harder because the sun is hotter. The food is different, so it might change in ball game a bit. Same like Dan Carly. When you're there in Jamaica, you produce half of the energy that you get. You see what's happening in the street, you see what the people them like, and whatever. Same like Burner Boy. He's in Africa, so he's bringing the culture to America. I think he mixed it a little, but he still keep his roots. You know? And thing and, you know, so... Dan leave Jamaica, him leave, him leave and not getting the Jamaican idea and the vibes and all of that. So he's in America, so because that's not his world, his name not going to call up like when he's producing dancehall, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody, like, we got so many co competitiveness in the hip-hop world in, in production. So you got to go around like a hundred million bad producer in America. You see me because Travis Scott is a, is, a, is a producer plus slash artist. Kanye West, um, Beat Boy, whatever them name, the whole of them. You see me? But I think he did something with Migos and them people and he working with Sean Paul same way and thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Bigger than Carly one. Uh, you know, Bogle, you know, Monster Boss, Dima. Yeah, man, we work with a lot of dancers. Boy, the Shelly Belly, all of them, you know? Yeah, man, we work with a lot of dancers. Big up the dancers then because, you know, they bring the energy and they bring the vibe to all the, 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 the music videos and the songs and they build the dances and we go right about them. Big up Janai, you know. Big up Shankadit, then the whole of them. All dancers, you know. Well, I have a, I have a couple. Maria Carey, that was memorable. Janet Jackson, R. Kelly, um, Buster Rhyme, Little John. Usher, Chris Brown, um, Rhea, Riri, Pussycat Dolls, Bad Boys, a lot of them are memorable, man, a lot, a lot, like, 
I remember when I'm doing my album for Bad Boys and Puffy gave me the whole studio. And I'm in there and my friends came from Jamaica and like, yo, Ellie, this real? I'm here for you, man. We just, we just doing it and feeling good just knowing that Bad Boys signed you and, you know? But, yeah, man, my memorable time is one of those times with Bad I got a lot, but Bad Boys, you know, they gave me a truth. They're like, we here, that room is mine. Number, number, number four, that's mine. Puffy's right there in, in his own room. So he got, he, got, he got a big place, like about five studio in it. So he said, Ellie, that's your studio. And my friends came and I go in that one and introduce him to them and go back into the one that they were working with my program. And, you know, it was memorable all the way. Yeah, well, you know, if it come, it come, you know. If it comes, it comes. But I've been with a lot of them, you know. But since then, it, the generation have changed. You got a lot of new African artists come up, a lot of new young rappers, a lot of new young R&B B artists. So I think, of course, I got a lot, of, a lot more out there I want to do some work with, yep. I got, I got, I got Animal House Records. I got Energy God Records. I got Foot Clan Records. So Animal House, Energy God, Foot Clan, those three, my label. We just put out um, the best EP, the EP, the best. So that's out on my on my label. So if you type in Elephant Man, the best, you're gonna see the EP come up. We just did um, Cool Reminder on the new dance already, but that, that one is for Not Nice. We just did the Pi Pi video for um, Goal Up. He's from France. He's the one who do Lego the Bird video and all of that. And Touch Your Head. So we just do a new song for him. We just do the video for that one. We just released the song for Bobby Conda, Make Your Booty Clap. So, you know, it's just a lot of program we got working with right now. A lot of program and we're living in the studio. And we did a lot of, we did a lot of videos and all of that. So even before I came on, tour right now in Europe. We just did us um the video for the Pi Pi last last week in Jamaica. Yeah, because you know that if you're an artist sometimes I don't think the fast food thing is good, you know? So sometimes it's good when you can just cook up a, 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 a thing in your kitchen. You just go to the seaside, you buy some fish and then you know you have your seasoning, you cook up something and you take care of yourself and eat good and things. I want to eat too much and get fat and overweight, but, you know? Yeah, cooking, I love cooking, man. Cooking is the best thing, right? Now, I should have a kitchen. When I leave here, I go over there and just throw up a pot. Yeah, man, cooking, nice. And I eat cold food, so the more the warmer the food is, the better for me. So, you know, cooking, nice. And when you can cook, it don't take long. It's easy. Put on the rice, you know, the salt and your, your, your butter and your thing, and... You put him on by your queen that don't steam and if you go some fish or some salt fish or cabbage and butter be you know it all it depends but we good at it, you know? <laughs> I like I got a couple. I like I like I like stew peas. I like white rice and stew chicken, I like I like fish, dumpling, I can't have fish and dumpling. I like oxtail sometimes, I like cow food sometimes because somebody says it's good for you to eat cow food because, you know, going to your body and, you know, it's good for you and thing and cow food. A lot of elder folks tell me that, so, you know, and, and, and thing. And I like soup, that's my favorite soup, chicken soup, fish tea, goated soup, manish water, love soup, love it. Like if I... I don't really drink soup in foreign because not everybody can cook it for you like it, but soup, I love it. Mm -hmm. I like everything. And you know, when you got those touching songs, you know, like, I'm just like, yo, you know what? Because the people not looking for that. Boom, 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 boom. I want to What is Jonathan doing over there? When the night? And the girls get crazy and you're like, woo! And it changed all the vibe. Because we've been getting you know, the people jumping, they're fucking tired. So I'm like, I'm gonna just smooth it down and keep it melodious and keep it nice. 
because you got different people in the crowd. You got you got young girls, you got elder folk, you got a lot of women. So you gotta just care for them too. When and then you got a lot of a lot of men there with their girl and their wife. So you know you enjoy that everybody rocking with their lady and you know so for everybody. And that song is one of them, one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, well, you know, just keep on supporting Energy God. Go follow me on Instagram, Elephant Man Z Energy God. That's Elephant Man Z Energy God on Instagram. And, you know, go get the EP. It's called The Best by Elephant Man, all distributed by Apilus. And, you know, just keep on support. Go over to my Vivo channel, subscribe. And, you know, we got the new songs out right now. Cool reminder. Make it clap, touch your head, pie pie. So just keep on representing and keep on, you know, supporting Energy God. Love my fans, love everybody. Keep on giving God the glory. Stay far from drugs, stay far from bad mind people. Love yourself and put God first. Yep, good to go. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Every time, man. Come on, yo, this the energy god and I'm representing for Jam World, keeping it jiggy for sheezy. I didn't know big enough Jam World would be so easy. I've seen a station before, but I've never seen an interview like this. I've seen a station before, Jam World TV, the one you top the list.